bike ride in the summertime. So specifically when I mean the phrase get rich or die trying, I'm not talking about rich in like a financial standpoint. I mean that's obviously one way that you could interpret it, but when I say get rich or die trying, I'm basically trying to push the idea of giving 100% effort at whatever field you're trying to pursue, whether that be financial, health-wise, socially, or just something that you're interested in on the side. Um, so there's a podcast that I've been listening to recently. It's called the Wanderers In Podcast. It's a small indie podcast that's actually made by someone that I personally know. And there's an episode, I think it's episode five of the Wanderers In Podcast that talks about failure. And I feel like there's a lot of important points that I would like to borrow to put in this video of get rich or die trying. So right now I'm actually sitting on the seventh floor of my dorm room's terrace. Um, seventh floor of my dorm room's terrace. That makes it sound like the terrace is seven floors tall. I'm sitting on the terrace of my dorm room that's on the seventh floor. And the view up here is crazy. I came out here last night when I was finishing the uh, seven day no sugar challenge. And like, I didn't realize how cool it was to be up here. I can also see like, dang, that's a riced out Honda Civic. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, there's a pretty decent view up here at nighttime. There's good amounts of lighting. There's, I mean, there's a fan up there, so it's not too hot. It's like a hundred degrees Fahrenheit here in Riverside, California. Um, but basically, what I want this series direction to be is I want there to be two like distinct, I guess, parallels or two distinct, what's the word? It's like yin and yang. It's like two opposites. I want there to be get rich and I want there to be die trying. So instead of using a financial um, example like my friend does in the in podcast, he uses the example of a business where if you're too afraid to start a business, um, then you're never going to succeed. But if you start a business and it fails, you learn lessons from that failure. So instead of using that financial example, I'm going to use the example of like spiritual. Someone who might be rich spiritually is someone who finds a lot of fulfillment in themselves. Maybe they go to church, maybe they go to the temple often, they pray often, and they have a lot of spiritual fulfillment. So I would say that that person is rich spiritually. Or and then the, I guess the yang to that, so the yang to the yin would be someone who's not spiritually fulfilled, someone who has no meaning to their life, probably like, I wouldn't consider myself to be that person, but I've had existential thoughts every now and then. I kind of for sure know how, know how that feels. Um, so the opposite of someone who's spiritually fulfilled, someone who's not, someone who has no direction in their life, who thinks that it's pointless, who I guess has a nihilistic point of view, um, of nothing really matters, we're all gonna die. Like I guess those are the two parallels. And I always wanted, to, I've always strived to be the person who is on the get rich side instead of the die trying side. And I wanted to tackle multiple points in my life. So not just financial, not just spiritual, but also in terms of my education, in terms of my hobbies, my career goals, my aspirations for social media and my music and like basically every part of my life right and I wanted to document that experience and how it's going for me so far so that's the kind of direction I want to go with um, this series I guess I'm going to title this maybe episode zero because it's kind of like an outline of what I want to do with like this whole concept of get rich or die trying and then I proceeded to realize that I was raving about the view on the terrace. And then I proceeded to give you guys like the wall as the view, like the most boring shit possible. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, that's the whole purpose. I feel like the vision that I want for this series of Get Rich or Die Trying. Like I've said it like 30 times. I've said the title. You guys all know the title is Get Rich or Die Trying. But yeah, that's the vision that I want to do. I want to explore different facets of my life and see is it am I getting rich or am I not in that sense um 
I would say currently, some of my strongest points as a human, like, of a person is my sense of independence. Um, I would say that that's a pretty big one. I was talking to Pastor June, my church pastor, over the weekend. And I asked him the question, P. June, what would be the hardest part about dating me as a person? And P. June, my church pastor, he told me that he believes that if he were a girl and he were dating me, the hardest part about dating me would probably be my sense of independence and my pride. And the reason for that is because um, he thinks that I'm not the type of person to ask for help. I understand where he's coming from. I've never really been the type of person to ask for help. I've always been the person to self-teach. And he said that if... I was your girlfriend or wife and we were in a relationship together and um, obviously right partners are able to I guess read each other pretty well uh, my pastor told me that if my partner were to read me in the future and notice that something's wrong she might be afraid to ask me if something's wrong because of my like my super heavy focus on being an independent person, figuring out things by myself, self-studying. And my pastor said that that might create a distance in a relationship that I don't want. So that's a weakness, but it's also a strength that I have. Um, I tend to learn things by myself. I'm very self-sufficient. But the problem is, is that sometimes I'm a little too self-sufficient. I don't allow people to, I don't allow myself to be carried by other people, essentially. And... I guess that comes a little bit with the environment that I grew up in. I'm also a oldest sibling, so I guess that also has a little bit to do with it. Um, but that's something that I've been trying to work on recently. I've been trying to like open up myself, uh, be a little bit more vulnerable with the people that I'm close to, and be a little bit more personal with my like relationship to my audience, obviously, as you can tell right now. Um, so that's what I'm trying to work on in my like personal get rich or die trying standpoint right now whether or not that's succeeding i'm taking efforts to fix it we will see the result in the future whether or not um my vision actually ends up coming to fruition but yeah that's the first i guess aspect of my life that i'm gonna make episode two about or no actually this is episode zero so that's what i'm gonna make episode one about um my personal life so i guess that's it this is just a short intro video explaining what the series is gonna be about I don't know how long I want the actual episodes themselves to be, but um, I guess that's the general concept. We'll see. Um, thank you guys for watching, I guess. I'll see you guys in episode one.